Hello and welcome to another HOSC CRM Dev video. Uh, today we're going to talk about an error. Um, I want to go through some of the common errors you might experience in CRM 2011, 2013. And uh, this one is a sort of real schoolboy error. And if it happens to you once, it'll probably never happen again. But it is quite traumatic, so I thought I would tell you about it to hopefully to avoid it. Because the way you learn sort of CRM is usually you, you try and do something and it goes wrong and it breaks or it doesn't work and then you kind of get on the internet and fix it. But this one, you don't really want to uh, experience an error like this. Um, I experienced it in February 3rd, 2012. Um, it was... It was for a company I was working for in the company CRM system. Uh, I was trying to add in a test user so I could uh, test the CRM uh, forms I'd been creating as a different user to see uh, whether they had the right kind of um, privileges to do certain things. And then I got this error, a license error, the selected user or or the user you're trying to log on has not been assigned a security role and does not have sufficient privileges for this action. Um, I got it. My user couldn't log in. Thought it's a bit weird. And then I noticed the user next to me couldn't log in. And then I noticed that all users couldn't log in. And at this point, there is a slight panic. <laughs> Some sweat on your neck thinking, hmm, I've done something here which I probably shouldn't have. Um, what reminded me of this error actually was uh, a, a CRM user uh, who actually been recently got his uh, a CRM MVP award, Andre K. Magano, recently appointed a CRM MVP, so congratulations to him. He, um, I just saw on his blog uh, that he also got this error and he got this message uh, missing Microsoft Dynamic CRM security role access to Microsoft Dynamic CRM has not been fully configured for this user the user at least one security role um, and although I had it here a while ago um, this may you may get this error also you get retrieve privilege for user no rule no roles have been assigned to this user so you'll get this where no no roles have been assigned to him and the system crashes. Basically, the error you're getting here is the system crashes when you add an account that is running the CRM app pool as a Microsoft Dynamics CRM user. So basically, the same user that's running the CRM app pool for the web uh, side of CRM. So CRM is split up into two parts. You've got the web access and there's uh, basically the, the web application. This will always run and then behind that you've got the CRM uh, async services. But you meant to, best practices are to have different service accounts for each um, different uh, part of it. So the web CRM app pool will have a different service account the asyncs have a different account, the uh, sandbox has a different account. Um, but if you add the CRM app pool, if you add that user into CRM, so what I did basically was um, I'd added that user in as a, a, and then I was trying to give him some security role. As soon as you do this, all CRM will stop working, it will break, and no one will be able to access the system. So the first thing to do when this happens is don't panic, <laughs> do not panic. Uh, it will be slightly scary, obviously, but um, basically what you need to do then, and he, Mr. Andre has uh, put the steps in here, which is quite useful. You, Because in CRM you cannot remove users, you're going to have to create a new one and repair CRM. So you'd create a new AD user, uh, ask your IT guys 
I guess most of you won't have access to AD. Um, and then you need to go in to CRM server in their um, control panel, add, add remove um, programs, and then you need to repair, select it and repair it. For CRM 2011, it's pretty much the same process. Maybe the error messages have slightly changed, but you'll need to go into uh, add remove programs, click repair, and then when you do this, it will take you to here. So you'll go, when you repair the CRM uh, application, basically it goes through and you and you got the chance to specify all the account, the service account names you're using and the passwords. And what you do here, you change So you're going to change the uh, users here uh, running the application service, I think, um, and then it will work again and you'll be refreshed and happily. Uh, you can see here, this is this sort of uh, the Microsoft uh, article, KB article. So this is what you get in CRM 2011. So basically you need the CRM service account is a dedicated service account. You cannot, um, you can't be swapping it around. You can't add it into CRM basically. Right, so this is just a quick tip. Just uh, this is a schoolboy error and you shouldn't do it and you should know that you shouldn't do this. And if it does happen to you, um, you can quickly rectify it, but some people might catch you out because CRM will stop working. Right, that's the end of today's quick tip. I will be adding other quick tips and sort of school errors uh, of uh, common errors in CRM in forthcoming weeks. Thank you very much.